Then Midge Remington asked the question Bobby asked me at the Berlin Wall. In a chair directly opposite to me, she sipped her lemonade and gin and looked directly at me as she waited for me to answer. I stopped eating. I would never hire a man who salts his food before eating, one of my father's axioms. It means don't act, bef don't act or speak in haste, Frankie. If you don't know the answer, think. Take a moment to figure out what's being asked, my father had said. So I took in the room, her lace curtains billowing in the breeze through the kitchen windows, her polished green gas range with gold antique knobs, her frigidaire that gleamed like marble comic silver surfer with an ice maker in the door, along with the water dispenser so that ice and water could be dispensed without having to open the appliance, something I had never seen before. Her white pleated tennis skirt, her, her white sneakers, her, her well-toned legs, and the way she waited without blinking. She stares like an East German border guard, I thought. The wrong answer, and you won't make it back. She's not just a pretty tennis lady, and those aren't pretty tennis shoes. There are razor blades in the, in the toes of her shoes, and she will kick you in the shin if you forget what Dad said and speak in haste. Mom, Bobby said, I already told you what he said. I can't trust you to bring the right chains home, Bobby. It's pretty good, I guess. Bobby, that's how you talk. His father's an educator. I meant to say more, I apologized. Of course you did, she said. Bobby didn't give you the chance. She looked pleased. I wanted her to stay that way. Every spy knows how to keep the guards smiling. I told her it was nice to be a Negro. She blew a thin cyclone of smoke. She did not look pleased, so I told her, Negroes get to do cool stuff. Like what, she said, more alert now. I was stumped. So I told her about Madden's Resort on Gull Lake near Brainerd, Minnesota. I had said our family and a bunch of other Negro families spend a week there every August, fishing, boating, swimming, and water skiing. She knew of Madden's Resort, but somehow something in my story didn't gel with what she knew of it. She asked me if I was confusing Madden's Resort was someplace else. She stood up and leaned on the counter with her back to the window. She lit another cigarette with the first and flicked the stub of the first cigarette out the window. Bobby said, what would Smokey the Bear say, Mom, with alarm? She looked at him and said, you'll make someone a good wife one day, Bobby.